Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another late night pouring episode. Um, we're almost at the end of January and starting February, and February has always been one of my favorite months. Why has it been one of my favorite months, HOA? Valentine's Day. <laughs> because Valentine's Day is coming. And it's never too soon to start thinking about Valentine's Day projects. I think a couple of weeks in advance is a really good lead time. Also, I wanted to show you guys some ideas to give you guys time if you wanted to use similar products to find them and get ready. So, what we're gonna be doing tonight, I'm not very, very complicated. I found these letters on Amazon that spell out love. Very, very cute. And we're going to pour on them tonight. So I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas that they are sitting on. It is taped and pinned. And I have actually painted the sides and edges with one of my colors. And we're gonna put these letters on here and we're gonna do a flip cup on them and we're gonna maybe blow them out with the leaf blower like we did in the other painting last week. So that was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it a lot. And I think this is gonna be really, really pretty. I'm not gonna leave them on the canvas. After I pour them, I am gonna take them off and let them dry. And then I might re-pour the canvas depending on if it needs it or not. So let's get started. Let me show you my colors real quick. Oh, can I show them your painting, HOA? What? <laughs> HOA was very sweet the other night and he had an idea of something he wanted to play with. And he actually ended up coming in here and doing a pour. And he did such a great job. It was just amazing. I'm like totally in love with this piece. And he did so good. Look at this. Just amazing. Beautiful colors. He did a wandering straight pour. And there's the drop of blue paint that I accidentally dropped on there. But it's an awesome, awesome piece. And I have an idea for something we're going to do with this when it comes in the mail. So you guys will see that again once it's dry. But I was really happy about it. And he did such a great job. I just kudos to HOA. So, and we're actually going to be using that same color palette that he used in that one tonight. So, because it was so pretty and I was like, oh, I love it. Okay, so the first one we are using is Golden's Quinacridone Crimson. Beautiful color. And dry is that gorgeous deep strawberry color. Really, really lovely. So that's the Quinacridone Crimson from Golden. And then we also have Permanent Violet Dark from Golden. Lovely. That's gorgeous. Mound on a mound and then sinking into itself pretty fast. Okay. Then I also have Pibio Studios Iridescent Orange Yellow, which is so cool. Just beautiful. You don't see a lot of orange in that, but it's in there and it's adding highlights, which is really, really cool. So I love this one. Very, very pretty stuff. Iridescent Orange Yellow. And we have their Primary Opaque Yellow as well. I'm also from Pibio Studio Acrylics. My pouring medium is my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and Filotrol. Really cool. Then I have some Decor de Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And some leftover Amsterdam Titanium White with a little bit of Amsterdam Pearl Yellow in there. And it doesn't show a lot, but it's just a very light gold color. It's really, really pretty when it dries. So, our game plan is going to be to layer four little Dixie Cups as flip cups flip them out on the letters, maybe move them around to make sure everything's covered up, and see how we go from there. So, let's layer these. Let's start with some of that beautiful quinacridone crimson. And we're gonna go into the orange. So I might use the leaf blower. <laughs> this is fun. I think the older gloves are squeakier. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Glove Works changed their formula because I was having a devil of a time getting them on lately and I ran out of that box and I found an old box which went on like a dream. So I think they've changed something. They're a little thinner. These just seem a little bit thicker, the older packaging, so. Come on, glove works, go back to the other recipe. Purple in there, let's get some gold. Go back to the red. 
you guys remember that quinacridone crimson was gorgeous when it mixed with the gold. So I'm actually going to put another little layer of gold on top of that. Just a little bit. It's so pretty. Okay. We're going to go back to the purple again. small layer of all of these in there. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit more gold on top of them. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll do another layer of crimson on top. Because I do want that to be the star of the show. Put a little gold in there, huh? Maybe not. That's fine. All right. Okay. I'm going to turn it around facing me just so I can see what's going on. All right. We're going to... Hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to flip it onto here and kind of drag it over there. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Try that there. Yes, my love. Okay. Here we go. tilt the letters. <laughs> I'm just going to grab some of this paint and just pour it right here on the edge. Okay. Maybe it would be better to pour it. Mm -hmm. well, let's see how this goes. I'm still confident this might work. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Here, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll try to pour it on this one. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last that I am. Okay, here we go. No, I'm not getting the same effect. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. Ready? Yep. Do that same scoop. And pour. Oh, there's a lot of paint in the middle of that one. <laughs> like a little uh, spa. Exactly. <laughs> a little jacuzzi. <laughs> okay, let's do this V. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go over here first. these to be perfect this is more for fun than anything else but they're gonna be really pretty anyway so okay and we're gonna do the E ready mm -hmm. okay okay that one didn't work as well <laughs> but that's okay it'll be fine it be a spatula Well, I was going to actually blow them a little bit. Do you think we should, or do you think yeah. they're cool like this? No, I think if you, like, because you could end up blowing some of the paint off the canvas up onto the thing. You you can certainly influence it. Just covering any bald spots. There's a big bald spot on this side, huh? Finger on that. Push the paint up there. 
Those are looking pretty cool though. I'm gonna set these up on some cups. And we will be right back. And we will deal with what's left on the canvas. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up. And I'm actually gonna dip it back in there because I want the back to have some paint too. Get the inside edge on that one. This is gonna be cool, ready? <laughs> out and see what happens. Let's see, where is the most of the way to the paint? Right by the O. <laughs> yeah, right. bad. It's not fantastic. Let's tilt it a little bit and see if we can't even out where the paint is. I'm going to try to get over to this corner which seems the muddiest. As you can see there's still a lot of paint on here. this composition so I think I am gonna flip out another cup on top of it which is fine right, last. But <laughs> and now we've tilted it and got a lot of that extra off so it's fine just make sure that all our corners are covered okay this will probably be fine but Okay, 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Just we pray. Here we go. Get some magic tabs. We're just gonna pick this one up. Very pretty. And then we're gonna incorporate some of our finger painting skills and put a heart in the middle. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Here, get a shot of the heart. <laughs> Okay, let's tilt this up. I actually think I like that purple. I'm gonna take it and anchor that. see the heart a little bit. Night tilted heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna push this off. I think I had more white in this cup than before. But that's okay. That cell looks so much in the center. That's crazy. That's really pretty though. Let me see a lump of something. Really pretty cells in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Let's check our edges and sides. That's pretty. Cool. Only because I know it was there before I can see the heart, but. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> well, not supposed to actually be after it. It's just, that was just for, for fun. So right there. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, I will show you this one when it's dry and our love letters over there. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, we'll be right back. Oh, it's so tastic. That orange is so pretty because it's so shimmery. You can tell I didn't have as much red in the cup in this one. Okay. Very cool. Like it. Yep. Okay, I wanted to take a second and show you the dried results for our blown out open cup pour. This one was blowing bubbles. We used our Makita mini leaf blower to use in an open cup pour. <laughs> it gave us some really fun results. It was very cool. Uh, you guys apparently really liked that one and I'm happy that you liked it. I love the way the final result came out. That Prussian blue base coat is just so stunning and provides so much contrast for all of these gorgeous colors. This one turned out really, really pretty. So that's blowing bubbles. Uh, let me see if I can bring out the ones from today if they're dry yet. So this is the next day. They're almost dry. They're dry on the sides and edges, but not quite on the top, which is why they're still up on the cup. They came out so pretty though. I am so pleased with this. It was so much fun. 
just gorgeous colors paint doing its awesome thing I love flip cups they're so much fun and even when you know it didn't completely cover and I scooped up some paint from the canvas and poured it on top of there it made beautiful lines and patterns so this is a really really fun thing to do great to do with your kids your grandkids friends husbands wives <laughs> but these came out awesome so these are my love letters really really happy about this once they are completely dry I will hit them with a coat of spray varnish um, just to make them super shiny and protect them a little bit more but we got some really beautiful things happening in there hope you guys can see but the colors are beautiful that iridescent orange yellow is always so pretty especially next next to that purple and the, the crimson and the yellow just gorgeous stuff so this was really fun let me go get the canvas and i will show you guys that one Okay, so here's the somewhat dry result of our canvas that was underneath our love letters. Turned out so pretty. I just really love flip cups. They're so awesome. All of these details, all of these cells, these colors, and the secondary and tertiary colors from the colors blending. Just beautiful. So pretty. I like how this one's a little bit softer in places because I added more white to it than I had on the letters. I really, really love how this one turned out. This corner is really pretty. Little pops of that orange and some gold and the beautiful permanent violet dark. And I love how the crimson mixed with the gold and with the permanent violet and gave us that very pink color. It was really, really cool. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.